Are you ready? I'm so excited. So I've been waiting for this to come for a long time. This is the number one selling item in our brand new catalog. And the coolest thing about it is, so our catalog's only been out for what, two weeks? And we don't even have these in hand yet. Um, they were supposed to be in our, our December special to um, have a new product. And you know, with all the problems with COVID and stuff, it got stuck in the ports. And so it never got out. And we were so excited to get it. And then our samples got stuck as well. So I'm really excited because I am one of the very first ones to be able to get it and show it to you. So it's our immersion blender. Yes. So this is so cool for many different reasons because I knew it was coming. I started to research it and find out all about it. And the coolest thing is, first of all, it doesn't take up a lot of space. So a lot of people don't have room for like the big blenders, right? Um, and so this is a small one that can just be stored in your uh, cabinet somewhere, and then you can just pull it out when you need it. But it has these four attachments. I'm so excited to show you. Let me see if everything's out of the box, yep. Everything, oh wait, more stuff. Oh, look at this. So um, I'm real excited to be able to use it. You know I'm gonna be making some recipes this week and I already have looked on my recipes. I know what I'm going to do. So I have a recipe for soup. I'm really excited about that one. I'm going to make um, a chicken cordon blue soup. I'm going to make I've looked up these recipes, um, homemade uh, hollandaise sauce, homemade hummus. So the cool thing, first of all, it does come with your little handy dandy instruction booklet. And of course, I literally just opened it up in front of you, so I don't even know how to use it yet. But the coolest part is that it does have these four different attachments. So you can blend and puree sauces and soups directly in your cookware. So let me grab a piece right now. Hold on. Let me just grab one of these over here. Here you go. So basically, when you make anything, let's see which one I want to do. This one is the let's see this is the masher so you there's a little uh dot over here and then a dot on the top and then you line it up mm -hmm. now it would have helped if i did this in the kitchen because i can't plug it in where i am there's no electric right near me but um right at the top there's two different um uh, degrees of your this is a 400 watt blender, I think that's correct. And then what you can do is use this to uh, adjust it or there's a turbo one. So this is what it looks like. And then you're just gonna put it in here and um, use it for your soups and your puree. So the advantage of that is you don't have to make your food and then pour it into a blender because that's usually a messy transfer and then a messy way to clean it. Look how easy this is going to be to clean, right? You're just going to run this under water. So they tell you that the blade is very sharp. So this is the masher, all right? Oh, I don't know if I read how to take it off. Oh, that's easy. You just twist it the opposite direction. Yay. What is this one? So this one is, let's see, there's four different ones. Oh, this goes on top of something else. Hold on. This is the, the whip blade, right? Can you see that? Hold on, let me see if I can do it this way, right? The whip blade. And so this is going to be good. Wait a second, I'm still messing up. Do, do I have to put this into something? Maybe I should have read the instructions first. I don't know why anybody would want to do that. Does this have to come off? Oh, that comes off. There it goes. And here you go. Now we're in. So here's the whip blade. So this is going to be for making any of your 
fluffy scrambled eggs, right? Instead of doing it always by hand, it's gonna come out really nice. And then also you can make homemade whipped cream. You know I always try to make recipes from scratch. And to buy Cool Whip or things like that, have you ever made homemade whipped cream? You literally just need heavy whipping cream. It's amazing. And so the nice thing about a handheld immersion blender is that you can also use it for smaller quantities. You don't have to have a huge big blender full, right? So that's that one there the whipping um, the blade also good for meringue if any of you do meringue pie all right so now we have this one and what is this one so there's a blend blade oh this is the oh I know which one this is going to be all right let me see how I have to do this one. Oh, and then I'm really excited um you also have the beaker and what you can do with the beaker that's what this one is for I think is you can actually blend right in it um Chopping bleed, blender attachment, B, blender attachment. So this is the regular blender one. This was the masher, right? I'm gonna be using this in a little while. We're making dinner right now and my husband is the king of mashed potatoes. So I was gonna do this video in a little bit and then when he told me he was making mashed potatoes, I'm like, no, 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 I'll do the video now. We gotta check this out. So this is the blender blade. So this you can put right in your smoothie, right? This is your, your container. You can make smoothies, you can make milkshakes, so excited and then it also has the chopper and that is what I'm really excited about too so this one has two really strong blades so how cool is that it has little I don't know if you can see it little plastic attachments on the blades so that's really cool so you're going to take those attachments off and then you're going to put this on yep and then this will connect into here and then when you turn it on, it's gonna make those blades move. So this is like a mini food processor. So this is good for like your nuts or hard cheeses. I'm so excited. I have recipes for whipped coffee. I have recipes for garlic mashed potatoes, sweet potato and crab soup, homemade tomato soup, barbecue sauce, pesto, applesauce, homemade mayonnaise, I'm excited to try that, Pico de Gallo black finished product. So this is our brand new immersion blender. It is in the book for $144.95. It's full price, it's not on sale. And if you want, you can take it using layaway and um, you can make four easy payments. There, uh, I have to look at the math. I wanna say it's like $43 each. So Linda Bradley at myprincesshouse.com. Please like and share my video. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe so that you always see it. This is the very first one that's come in. I'm so excited about all of the new products. And as I get them, I will be back. But I had to show you this one. Our four-in-one immersion blender from Princess House. You're going to love this piece. Stay tuned for recipes because it's going to be all about the recipes this week. Thanks so much for joining. Woohoo! Mashed potatoes, here we come. All right. So you, the top button, you can adjust the speed, or this is, goes right to turbo. Do I have to hold it to adjust put the speed? Put it down into it. Nope. Put it, go ahead and turn it on. And then you're just going to go up and down. No, oh, I've got to hold it, though. What, do you have to hold it if you do turbo? Oh, I don't know. Okay. You look pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. Save your arm. And then I guess you have to shake it off the side, right? Yeah. I'm going to make sure. I can get you something if you want to that. Definitely save the arm though, right? Yeah. It looks really clean. We'll have to get the verdict from the girls. Alright, step one. Maybe mashed potatoes. I think it passed this test, right? Is this easier for you than what you normally use? Mm -hmm. This is what he normally uses. Old school. Alright, yay.